What's up, LHS? Welcome back to your Blue Devil News. I'm Emily. And I'm Elena. Seniors, these announcements are for you. Many of your former schools are inviting you back to celebrate your graduation. Castle Heights Elementary is tomorrow at 9 a.m. Sam Houston Elementary is honoring you tomorrow at 1.30. And Byers Dowdy is honoring you on May 17th at 9 a.m. I am sure you are all aware that we only have three days left here at LHS. Don't forget that we have mandatory graduation practice in the theater on May 16th and we must be seated by 10 a.m. May 20th is our graduation at MTSU. Doors open at 6 and the ceremony begins at 7. GSA will be hosting Lebanon High School's first ever Pride Festival. This free event will include games, snacks, face painting, and more. Please come to the library on Tuesday, May 14th from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. to celebrate and support the LGBT community. All library books and textbooks were due last Friday. If you have any checked out, return them to the library as soon as possible. You will not be able to receive your report card or schedule for the next year if they are not turned in. AP Macro Review is held every Monday and Wednesday in B112 with Mr. Per Year. If you're unable to attend, you can schedule a different time with Mr. Per Year after school. Any student interested in joining choir next year should see Ms. Fitzgerald in room A704 for more information. Yearbooks are here and pick up is today at lunch in room A303. Now, let's see how much fun our teachers have here at school. On that note, I'm out. <laughs> Are we supposed to do an intro? <laughs> hey, uh, I'm Mr. Goins. I'm Mr. Clifton. And I'm Miss Eaton. Hi, I'm Mr. Holmes. And I'm Mr. Judkins. Hi, I'm Miss Raymond. And I'm Miss Holmes. We, we started here at the same time, so what, four, four years? years? Yeah, so we've been here for four, yeah, four years. years. And we met on our very first day of work here, yes. so four years ago. Four years. Oh, that was... Well, this is Mr. Clifton's uh, first year on our side of the department of special ed. But that's not our first encounter. Well, I don't remember our first encounter. ACT. Yes, yeah, so we had to do the ACT together. That's mm -hmm. right, last year. Mm -hmm. That was a great time. It's a joyous occasion. It was. We were extremely excited. The first time we encountered one another was my first day at Oakland. Mm -hmm. I, I got the office and I walked in. I'm like, this guy. He gets it. We're going to be friends. He gets it. I can just look at this guy and know he gets it. So that, that was a good office, too. It was a good office. We had an office with no windows. Yeah, it was nice. We had a lot. I enjoy working with home. She always makes me laugh. It keeps me in check. Um, we've had some. Her, her wedding was probably, going to her wedding was, it was beautiful. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. So that was definitely a great memory. Why negative? Well, I don't like to focus on the negative. So I'm going to get this no hard pass. There's no, no negative. No there's negative. no negatives. I can't think of a negative thing. No, about there's no guys. negative. Mm. Or positives. It's all kind of just gray. Area. Okay, so one word. It's a very neutral one friend. positive word. You're okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would think... I would say humorous, because you both which, are super funny. We are, but looks aren't everything. And you provide us with lots of good jokes. I'm very funny. I'm a very you are, funny person. You're enthusiastic. And that's a good one. She is very enthusiastic. You are that's very just hard another way to, to say dramatic, but that's true as well. She's nicer than us. That's for sure. She is nicer than us. Yeah. I'm yeah. nice. Um, how would you describe me, Mr. Holmes? With one positive word? Yeah, one hopefully positive word. Uh, um... Pragmatic. I thought you were about to say pregnant. <laughs> that would have been a better one. Um, a negative word? Not really, man. I haven't known I haven't known you long enough to be able to associate anything negative about you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, how about how about Langley? Is that a word? I think. I actually, what's actually the, what's like what the, the lang? Means. Like you're like long and like lanky. 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 I'm a math teacher. I don't know. You know who you are? You're, you're like Mr. T. And I don't know if it's a positive word, but that's a good description. I pity the pool. You pity the pool. He you pities pity, all. I pity all kinds of pools. All kinds of pools. Every, every day? You pity pools? <sighs> I'm not sure I have the energy to put pity yeah. sometimes. You might hurt your feelings. I would say you're like my work mom. Like, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I'd do it for I'd hit you. you yeah. I'd hit you for free. I would hit both of you. No, it wouldn't even have to be a million dollars. Mm -hmm. I probably did it for like a Coke. I've probably already done it, thinking back. Yes, yes, hundred percent. Would I hit Sheila for or Miss Raymond for ten dollars? Ten dollars. I have no discretion for that. Uh, just, I just, I just one. It's the beard. 
It's I think pretty it, courageous. I think you're an Aquarius. Please. I would pay off all my student loans. That's a good. That's a good answer. A good and answer. I would make sure I'm out of debt. Mm -hmm. And then I'd go on vacation. Those are all very responsible answers. Well, because when you're an adult, you have to be responsible. We're, I think we're both older than you. I agree. You are, and neither one of you is, are as responsible as me. I agree I'm not with her. Sure I would do the same thing she said she was doing. I would put it in a 401k and watch it grow. And I would do what he said he was going to do. <laughs> Barry, that's <laughs> smart. With that money. I would do, uh, yeah, 100% invest it or Ooh, investments. Yeah. Diversification. Yeah. I, like ha mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like having that money work for me. You know? That means I, I, have, I can work less and do interesting things. You know what I'm saying? How about you? So I would punch you in the beard because you know what? You'd kind of just bounce back and uh, your beard would flew right back up and you know I'd have a million bucks in my pocket. Beard powers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stay home with Bert. Yeah, I have a dog named Bert, so I can only stay home with him. But only for a little bit though. I've got I could have a million dollars forever. Go um, I'd pay off student loans probably. Yeah. That'd probably be it. Any more questions? <laughs> Me. It's gonna be him. Yeah, for sure. Him. It's a hundred percent. It's always him. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that was easy. Next yep. question. That's not okay. I think okay. You have you have two degrees. I have one degree. That doesn't necessarily qualify. Having a degree doesn't really measure smartness, though. No, but it measures you know dedication to something, perhaps. <laughs> uh, I think we're equally, equally smart. Smart, and we have our smarts in different ways. <laughs> The guy that every I think you'd be the guy at the party that everyone's listening to and like nodding, but s like secretly they have like Duran Duran in their head. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. They're just like, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I can see that. Yeah, but you, you're you're speaking something interesting. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. But people who go to parties aren't necessarily there for interesting. True, true. What Duran Duran song do you think would be? Oh, um, I think she would probably be a little bit more outgoing. Depends. It depends on what time this party is. That's we true. go to bed pretty early. That's true. So if it's I, a day party or what? Miss Rain was a lot of fun at my wedding. So yeah. um, she likes to dance. Mm -hmm. So she's she's the girl that's going to be on the dance floor pretty pretty early on. And she'd be the one dragging everybody out there too. Yo, know, see, that's the type of person you are for a party. Like you would walk into a party and you'd be the guy in the back and you would just stand there and watch people. You are a hundred percent right. And you would be like, I know who I'm going to murder later. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Not the murder part, but definitely the, <laughs> like, are you sure you haven't done time, Mr. Holmes? I'm the wallflower. Oh, um, you haven't done time? No. Okay. I don't, I don't believe in that. So That, no. You have to guess what, like, which one you think. You're a Taurus. I don't that even know what true. these are. I have no idea then. Are you the bull? Huh? I'm too. not the bull. I think he's a Leo. Ooh. A All Leo. Right. Why is that? Because of the dawning of the age of Aquarius, that song. Oh yeah, that's something else song. we could mm -hmm. hop we can, into. Yeah. absolutely nobody knows that no. song at all. You're gonna have to be the. Uh, you're the. You're the. You're the. You're the Libra because you're always worried about the scales of justice. No, that is not true. Oh, okay. Do you have any idea? No. Tattoo show. You don't watch have that. Have you ever seen that? Look, oh yeah. Infinity symbol. That's like. The Friendship math infinity is forever. No, that's forever. Definitely forever. Miss Eagle. What about? It's a sad face. <laughs> that is not, do not put that up there. No, you can't say that. Everybody. Wow, she did say it. She did. Bold move. Bold. I had heard you might, you know, be considering, no, you probably, I'm making this up, you haven't considered one, but if you did, I was kind of thinking of a really good one, and it would definitely symbolize, you know, I, I, who you are, you know, and, and, and math and stuff. Here, I'm, I'm going to hook you up with this. Don't look. I'm a bad girl. It's okay. Because I'm really passionate about this, and I really want you to see. Can, can I show? Should I show them first, or should I show you first? Because uh, I, I think you should show them first, and then I'm going to react. Okay. <laughs> Here's the. Uh, Be proud. Yeah. Yeah. Claw on a guitar. My little raven clawing the guitar here. Yeah. yeah. Right now. We oh. were supposed to take a selfie anyway. Okay. Right now. Switchies. Picture. Last, last one. There you go. First and last. Constantly taking a series of pictures. We like posting selfies con consistently of ourselves. So called movies. He is very Chewbacca ish. We're like, we're like that. That's us. Yeah. When was the last time we, we took us? <laughs>
<laughs> I she take a lot of is pictures a little bit of a stalker Raven. and takes a lot of pictures of me when I don't yeah. realize it and videos. Yeah. I'm trying to see if I can find it. Oh, look, shows... no, the last one I have, it's actually Miss Frazier's in it, too. We oh. all showed up in oh, jean yeah. jackets. You probably can't see the it. The jean jacket club. We were the jean jacket club, so it was all of us. We were all wearing jean jackets. jackets. So that was a couple weeks ago. You know what? Since we were talking about selfies, I'm really just inclined to draw a picture of you right now. All right. Yeah. It's going to be our next portrait of each other. I'm just going to post this online and let everybody see just how infatuated. Can you uh, tell which is which? This is Look. This one's destiny. I bet you. What? Am I taller than you? Yes. This one's me because I have the bigger head. <gasps> well, what, I, bigger head? That's you. And this is. And I'm taller than you all, so I drew myself head. taller. See? But look, there's you with a smile, and there's he's got them. Okay. Me? The why, am I not, face. why am I not smiling? Because you don't smile. I, <laughs> I actually just drew myself. <laughs> I'm not, if I was having another child, I'm not having I would kids. definitely name it something other than one of these two's names. I, I, I just want to let you know I'm in the process of making use of this beautiful, this beautiful earring. Okay. <laughs> he broke my bracelet. <laughs> the last FBLA meeting of the school year will be today from 2.30 to 3.30. Please make plans to attend if you're an FBLA or are interested in joining next school year. HOSA pins have arrived. Please see Ms. Tomlinson in room C304 to pick up this item if you stay or nationally affiliated with HOSA for the 2018-2019 school year. Do you need a sports physical? From now until August 31st, visit any local Care Now Urgent Cares and get your physical for only $20. The closest one is over by Publix and no appointment is needed. Now, here's Ian with sports. The Giants defeated the Reds with a final score of 6-5. Tomorrow they begin a three-game series with the Cubs. The first game begins at 540. Yesterday, the Sounds lost to Memphis again. The final score was 7-2. They play again today and tomorrow. Both games start at 11. Now for college baseball. Over the weekend, UT's baseball team took on Florida in a three-game series. The first game they lost, 9-10. But the second game they won, 8-7. And the third game they won, 5-4. Tomorrow, they take on Tennessee Tech. The game begins at 5. Over the weekend as well, Vandy's baseball team took on Missouri. First game they won 5 to 2. The second game lost 5 to 2. The third game they won 7 to 2. Tomorrow they take on MTSU. The game begins at 6:30. Recently, some track members competed to qualify for state. Tyson Kelly, Aiden Britt, and Spencer Lowry all qualified for the state championship along with Nate Green in track. They will compete at MTSU on May 23rd. That's all I have for you LHS. I'm Ian and this has been your Sports News. Thanks Ian. Final exams for underclassmen will be administered on May 22nd and 23rd. Students may leave campus after exams with written parent permission. Students are also responsible for bringing a parent note to the main office before the 20th. Hosa Peach Sale is going on now through May 19th. This is a huge fundraiser for their organization and your support of this event is greatly appreciated. Well, that's all the news we have for today, LHS. I'm Emily. And I'm Elena. And, and this, this has been, been news to you from, from the White, White and Blue. Blue.